Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody posted this exact photo on my Facebook page and asked how you would do it. And I, I looked and I couldn't find that photo, which would make it a lot better because it's just the face. And uh, this is a younger picture of John. And, and so some of the letters don't show up. But this is relatively easy. Um, let's just move this out of the way. So I've got a, I've got a photograph of John Lennon, and I typed out those exact words. Now, to make it, I wish I could have found a thicker font, but to make them scrunched up like that, just type it out like that and left justify it, so everything's on the, or right justify it, I'm sorry, and then go control K and break them apart. Set your nudge factor about on a quarter of an inch, and let's go one, two, one, two, three, four. So just, and you could actually probably get a little bit closer than this, but for the video, you'll get the idea. And there's ways to do this faster, but uh, just get you an idea of how to scrunch these up, and what this does, it. It allows you, because so I'm going to control G and group them together. It allows you to make the fonts bigger and fit into this space. And that's a little bit, and then you would just find a better font. But then what you did and what they did, whoever did this, just blacked out everything around the font so you can see through the font. So we're going to take and we're going to change our nudge factor on like three or two inches grab our font and nudge it out of the way. And I'm going to left click, right click. And then holding down the shift key with this selected, I'm gonna double hit my rectangle tool and that put a rectangle around my font. And then I'm actually gonna, and I could have drawn a rectangle around it. <clears throat> but then what you do is take the smart fill tool and fill in. And then fill in all the little parts that the Smart Fill tool could not get to. And this takes just a second. Because what we're doing, we want the letters to be transparent so they can see through, so you could see his face. And I don't know if it's, thankfully, I was old enough to really remember this day that this happened in 1980. And then you could just move it over to your discretion and actually, you know, bring it up and bring it down. And like this picture would have looked a lot better if it was just the face. And then I would left click or excuse me, right click no outline. So you wouldn't have that red box. Now I'm a laser engraving and this probably wouldn't do me any good at all, but maybe somebody's gonna print this or whatever. So if I had a picture of the face, I believe I could reduplicate this exactly. Uh, some of the letters are cut out with his tie and the when it goes off into the black, but you can see his face. It's, uh, that's a pretty cool uh, design. Anyway, I hope that answered those questions and thank you for watching.